Welcome to Electro Online, and here's our next example of how to solve an exact differential equation of the first order. Here we involve sines and cosines in equations, so this should be an interesting example. Again, the general format of an exact differential equation of first order is that we have some function of x and y dx plus some other function of x, y, dy equals zero. The general solution to that would be u in such a way that the differential of u du can be written like this and of course that also must be equal to zero which means that the parcel of the function u with respect to x is equal to a and the parcel of the function u which is the solution the general solution of the equation with respect to y is equal to b also realizing that if du is equal to zero u must therefore be equal to a constant so how do we solve something like this well recognize that this here is representative of a and this here is representative of b in that general equation and that means that the solution, the general solution u, is equal to the integral of a times dx plus a constant of integration. But since a is obtained by taking the partial derivative of the solution with respect to x, that means y is a constant. And if y is equal to a constant, that means the constant of integration can be a function of y. So we have to say that the constant of integration will be some sort of function of y. Now, we don't know what that function is. We'll determine that later. So we're going to replace a by what a is equal to, so u is equal to the integral of 2x times the sine of 3y uh, times dx plus a constant of integration, which is a function of y. Now when we integrate this, again we have to remember y is a constant because we found a by taking the partial derivative with respect to x, that means y was a constant, so we keep y constant here, so the sine of 3y is a constant, so this will be integrated as this will be 2x squared divided by the new exponent times the sine of 3y plus the constant of integration which is a function of y and there's the general solution of the equation above of course the twos cancel out now we still need to find out what k of y is equal to how do we do that well we realize that the partial derivative of the function u the solution the general solution of the differential equation with respect to y is equal to b and b is equal to this quantity right there so what we could do is say well since b is equal to 3x squared times the cosine of 3y dy oh no not dy that's not part of b since b is equal to this and we know that b is also equal to the partial of the general solution with respect to y and u is what we have right here that that means that this is equal to the partial with respect to y of u which is equal to x squared times the sine of 3y times let's see here uh, nope, plus the unknown function of y all right and so if we now take the derivative of that we get the following so on the left side, we have 3x squared times the cosine of 3y is equal to the partial derivative of this. Remember that in this case, x is constant, so we take the derivative of the sine of 3y. So we have x squared. The derivative of the sine is the cosine, so the cosine of 3y. And the derivative of the angle is 3, so we need a 3 there as well. And then plus the partial with respect to y of the unknown function k of y like that now take a close look and notice that on the left side we have 3x squared cosine of 3y here we have 3x squared times the cosine of 3y they cancel out which means that 0 is equal to the partial with respect to y of that unknown function k of y and if the derivative with respect to y is equal to uh, if the derivative of this is equal to 0 that means that the function itself must be equal to a constant so we can conclude that therefore the constant the function of y must equal some constant let's call it c sub 1 going back to our general solution knowing that u is equal to this this now is a constant which means we're going to rewrite u as being equal to x squared times the sine of 3y plus instead of writing the unknown function we now know that it's simply a constant and finally we realize that since u, which is the general solution of the original differential equation, is also equal to a constant, we can replace u by the constant, and so c squared is equal to x squared times the sine of 3y plus c1, and of course when we have two 
constants like that, we can combine them into a single constant, and we can write that x squared times the sine of 3y is equal to a constant, and that would then be the general solution to the original differential equation. And so using that technique works really nice in any equation that's an exact differential of the first order, and that's how it's done.